Hey, it's Yash, and in this lesson, we're gonna cover the prompting essentials you need to know to be a master prompt engineer. You've probably seen countless guides and social media posts on how to engineer prompts, showcasing the best tools and tips. I'll be honest here, most of those are garbage. Here's why. Some of those prompts might be useful when you're used to a chat style interface like ChatGPT, where you have multiple chances to refine your answer, but the principles for prompting at scale, however, which is the primary type of prompting you'll be doing in Clay, are a bit different. Your goal in Clay is to write one prompt that will work really well the first time across hundreds to thousands of rows. To do that, we've got one last framework for you, always making sure your prompts have spice in them. That's sections, prompt variables, instructions, context, and examples. Let's create a sample prompt to write a subject line based on a context LinkedIn profile together using Spice. First, we'll need to include all our prompt sections. To separate your section text from the rest of your prompt, always surround your section prompts with hashtags like this. The sections we'll always want to include in our prompts are hashtag variables, hashtag context, hashtag instructions, hashtag examples. Examples will be more relevant for traditional AI prompts and less relevant for web scraping AI prompts, but we'll keep examples for this one since we're generating a subject line. Second, we'll want to include all of our prompt variables in the hashtag variables section. For this example, let's imagine that we have scraped social profile URLs, full names, and company names all in our sample prompt variables. We'll include each of those column variables in the variable section and assign those values to a variable we'll enclose in curly brackets like so. Then we'll use those curly bracket variable assignments to reference columns everywhere else in our prompt. This is helpful because it makes prompt editing and triaging much faster. Third, we'll create explicit instructions, ideally step-by-step -step, that we want the AI to follow in executing our objective or task. In this case, we'll write a simple step-by-step -step process for the AI to personalize the subject line based on different elements of the scraped social profile and include instructions on tone and formatting criteria up top. Let's draft some instructions. We'll start with tone, formatting, and length. Here's how we'll start our prompt. Always start the subject line with congrats on. Keep the final subject line to no more than 10 words. Always use second person pronouns. We are drafting a subject line to full name who works at company name. We have more profile information about full name in profile info. Complete the sentence using the steps below. One, check if the profile has any awards in the last year. If yes, then complete the sentence with context on the award one. Two, if there are no awards, check if the profile has any promotions or new jobs in the last year. If yes, then complete the sentence with context on the job change or promotion. And three, if there are no awards or job changes, then check the profile for any other accolades. You could use job anniversaries, certifications, skills, volunteer experience, or anything else you deem relevant to craft a personalized subject line. Great. That's good enough for instructions. Time to move on to our fourth step in Spice, context. Context is one of the most forgotten parts of good prompts and incredibly important because you have to remember that AI is trained on literally everything we know. So it could output information about New York City traffic laws just as readily as it could create instructions for a life-size Lego Death Star. The context helps us narrow the focus on the AI down to just the instructions and the task at hand. One other thing to note about context for copywriting in particular, never mention that you are writing a cold email or doing cold outbound. We've discovered that the text AI is trained on for cold email or outbound copy is really just poor advice that comes from thousands of SEO driven pages with mediocre advice on how to write good emails. So instead, just focus on being a writer with short, succinct, and friendly language. 
For our subject line example, we'll keep it simple. Context. You are an expert writer skilled at writing short, succinct, personalized congratulations to people based on their work profile and history. Now, we've got everything we need to get to the last step of SPICE, examples. Examples are critically important in copywriting and data cleaning prompts, and less important for your web scraping prompts. Examples help constrain our AI even further beyond context, and they dramatically reduce the rate of hallucination for bad outcomes that we didn't want. For our subject line prompt, we'll include a few examples of subject lines for all the different types of personalization we might want. We'll make sure to wrap our examples in HTML tag formatting so that the AI knows to treat our examples differently from the rest of our prompt text. Here's a few examples we'll use for our prompt. Award example. Congrats on making it to President's Club this year. End of award example. New job example. Congrats on the new role at OpenAI. End new job example. Promotion example. Congrats on the promotion to director last quarter. End promotion example. Other example. Congrats on your leadership at OpenAI. End other example. Once we include those examples in our hashtag example section, we've got a prompt ready to run. We can even go ahead and run this sample prompt we've created together in the find people table we've been using so far just to see how it performs. Now that you've learned the prompt engineering fundamentals, it's also worth mentioning that whenever you set about to writing a prompt, you can use the help me button in the bottom right corner to use Clay's very own meta prompter which will help you get a jump start on formatting your prompt like a pro. For now, I'm just gonna copy paste the prompt that we built together, configure my models, and hit run. You can see we're getting some good subject lines in our first 10 rows here, and we're ready to start tackling other core AI features in Clay. Up next is Clayjent for AI web scraping. See you there.